So this is one of the most expensive gyms in London. And this is the cheapest gym in London. And I wanted to come to both to see if there was a justifiable difference between a £20 a month gym and a £300 a month gym. Right, so this is the cheapest gym in London. Now, when you first come in here, it doesn't look like much, but there's more to it than you think. So as you can see, there's, this gym literally runs itself. So you come in, you put your pin in, and that's how you get inside. The first thing you see when you get in is they have this like studio class area, which I mean, it's good. It's a good start. Like you need this when you come to a gym. So there's women's changing rooms over there. As you come through here, you've got this massive long cardio section. You're not going to be short for cardio section in this gym. So, so far for a gym that's going to cost you 20 pound a month, a lot of cardio equipment, so you'll be taken care of when it comes to cardio. So, downstairs, this gym gets even bigger. However, there's more through here, so let's go. So, when you talk about the quality of the equipment in here, I mean, it all seems to be matrix, like all the cardio equipment, look, all matrix, all the machines, matrix, 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 which, if you're a gym goer, you know, it's not, it's not like the most elite brand, but it does the job, and they've got plenty of it. So, let's go check out the first weights room. This is the first weights section. So we've got a few machines up here, okay? Um, one thing I'll say about this gym is space is not a problem. There is so many different sections to this gym. You're not gonna struggle to find a space that's a little bit more quiet and a space where um, you can get on a machine. So yeah, up here they've got like your shoulder press, lat pull down. Like I said, little 12 around here, hamstring curl, cable machines over there, and they've got a little mat section here. Um, the machines, that they, they do the job. They do the job. Be fair, moves all alright, but yeah. One thing I would say, I mean, cleanliness doesn't seem to be a massive issue, but like the floor looking a little bit, little bit dirty. And the decor, compared to the gym that we're going to see shortly, um, obviously isn't going to be up there. But so far, very impressed with this for a £20 gym. Let's go. Right, so that's what you get when you first come into the gym. You've got this like long, kind of narrow section. It's not, it's not that wide up here. Um, but you've got a lot of equipment going all the way through. But then you come downstairs, and this is where all the action happens. This is where the dumbbell racks, barbells, etc, etc. So as far as space goes, They've got two floors. Um, one thing I will say, okay, the time is currently 9.30 p.m. on a Monday night and the gym is still relatively busy. So you can imagine if you was to come here in peak times, we're going to speak to one of the members later, but if you was to come here in peak times, you can imagine that it's probably horrendous. Okay, so as you come downstairs, you've got so many more machines down here. I think there's some kind of like the same machines as what you get upstairs. You've got like massive cable machine, you've got look, leg presses, and then you've got even more cardio equipment going around here. You've got a good variety of everything. Look, seated bone machine over here. You've got another one over here. So you've got plenty of equipment. But again, like I said, everything is matrix. So I know from using matrix in the past, not all the machines kind of move smoothly, but for 20 pound a month, it's more than good enough. And no matter where you are, as long as you work hard and you've got something to use like this is more than sufficient like extremely sufficient you're gonna get a good workout here so when it comes to the atmosphere of this gym everyone's here like pretty much just focusing on their workout like there's groups of people training it's a decent vibe music's not too loud which is good doesn't mean that you won't your earphones won't get drowned out so. Yeah, I mean, atmosphere is fine, no big issues. If you like what I'm wearing, I am rocking the new collection from Vanquish, the new lifting club collection, okay? It is nine pieces in four different colors. It is their biggest drop for a very, very long time. Make sure you keep your eyes peeled for that one. It's launching on the 28th of October. And if you want to support me, make sure you shop through my link. That'll help me out a lot and I'll love you forever. All right, so there's all the machines over there. Now, coming through here, like, I'm actually very impressed with the size of this gym. Like, this is £20 a month, guys. And look, you come through here, and you've got this massive section here with more machines, like more plate-loaded machines now, not cable, like pin-loaded machines. And then you've got a massive dumbbell rack over there, so we're going to go check that out now. Right, so the dumbbell rack is extremely busy, so I don't want to be going and interfering with people's workouts, but it's for the size of this gym and the amount of members it's probably got um, on the app actually I can see that there's 75 people in this gym at the moment I think the dumbbell rack could be a little bit bigger however it's not tiny but one thing I'm noticing as well is that all the weights like if you just do a little pan to the floor quickly pan to the floor you can see all the weights are kind of like scattered all over the place so that is a markdown so far cleanliness hasn't been an issue like this gym is actually like looking around the gym is relatively clean um, 
So you can't really complain. You cannot complain. Right, so look, you got your benches here. This one, this bench in particular, it's like a spotting bench. So like it's safe. So if you haven't got a training partner, it comes out with you. It's just it's just like a safety bench machine. I don't know. I've never used one before, so yeah, it looks it looks cool though. Coming through here, you've got two deadlift platforms. So for a commercial gym, that's good. You've got your squat racks, you've got your benches set up specifically for benching, deadlift platforms, squat racks, more benches over there. Coming through here, you've got more leg machines, and then more plate loaded machines. I think so the difference between these two sections is you've got plate loaded machines, massive variety of equipment. Then you come all the way through. So we've already been here, we've got the cardio. Obviously we have to be mindful, like this is a public gym. We don't want to be getting people in the background, so I'm trying to get as much content for you guys as possible, but I don't want to be pissing anyone off at the same time. So yeah, so this is the final section of this gym. So on this other side, you just got like a little boxing area, like I would say like a little circuit area. You've got another squat rack here, um, plates. So you can just do some like plyometrics and all that stuff here, but this is not the relevant section for us. But you could for 20 pound a month, you can't go wrong, can't go wrong. So the changing rooms are here. Um, I won't take you inside because I mean, it's hard even filming on the gym floor. I'm gonna take you in there and get like, you know, arrested. Um, but they are big, they're relatively clean. Yet again, showers, toilets, plenty of space, all good. First question I want to ask you, if you had to rate this gym on a scale of one to five, what would you rate it? One to five? Okay. Yeah, like five stars. Um, can I give halves? Yeah, you can give halves. Okay, um, I'd probably give it like, a four and a half. Four and a half out of five? Yeah, because I think, I think, um, I mean, the, the equipment's all here, first of yeah. all. And it's just like the community, the vibe is like really good. Do, would you say like, I mean, do you normally come at this time? No, I usually come around like five or six, but it's... Is it rammed? Uh, that. It, Be honest, stop busy. sticking up for your gym. It is quite busy. Is it hard to get on equipment? Yeah, it is, at those times, but I think that's with every gym. Yeah, I suppose so. Uh, I mean, obviously this, this gym was like 20 pound a month, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. do you think it's good, great value for money? Yeah, 100%. So it's like you you'd 100% pay that all day. You think it, do you think it's worth more? 20 quid. You think it's worth more than that? Um, mm, probably not. No. There's your answer, guys. Right. So that is the 20 pounds a month gym. She's got it at four and a half out of five stars. I'm not sure I agree with that. Look, for 20 pounds a month, it is an amazing gym. They've got a lot of equipment, a lot of space. I mean, it is late now, it's gone quiet, but it was pretty busy when we first got here for 9.30 p.m. Uh, but she did say at five, six o'clock, it is very hard to get on equipment, which is a problem. So we are now gonna head to third space to see if there is a crazy difference between this gym, which is 20 pound, and 300 pounds at third space. Let's go. Okay, guys, so this is the most expensive gym in London. First impressions when you walk in, it is absolutely massive. It's literally this round circle. You've got different sections, as you see on the video now. You've got different sections with different things to do in every section. It's huge, unnecessarily, but it's extremely busy. We're here in peak hours, so I wouldn't come here at this time if I had the choice, but I could imagine it's like just before work now, it's about nearly 8 a.m., so people are gonna be coming here and then going straight to work. But if I could have, if I had the choice, it would become 10, 11, I imagine it would be a little bit quieter. Now, when it comes to the quality of the equipment in typical executive kind of upmarket gym, fashion um, the equipment is it's all right you know it's not going to be like your typical old school bodybuilding gyms the, the, it moves okay but it's not it's not the best i feel like it's just like that very high tech kind of equipment but yeah like i said i mean there's a lot here there's a lot of machines i've only tried a few so far so i'm not saying this i can't judge it based on everything this machine's like chest machine is okay uh, there's a massive dumbbell rack and like i said there's just so much here so you definitely wouldn't be short of choice if you came here so what to be expected with this gym basically based on what I said earlier where we come in a busy time people are getting here just before they get to work you can clearly see everyone here is just focusing on their session like everyone here just wants to crack on like they're not really
really too impressed with camera look. When you go to any gym, it's kind of expected um, that everyone just wants to train, even in bodybuilding gyms. If anything, it's more serious. However, it's kind of a little bit more accepted that people vlog and stuff like that and film, whereas here, they're not really uh, too keen on it. Obviously, these are all like, this is in Canary Wharf. So if you know about Canary Wharf, you know it's all offices, big businesses. So these people are probably like, the busy days ahead of them, they're just in here to keep fit, keep healthy. They just want to train, they don't want no distractions. So, atmosphere's a bit, a bit edgy. Everyone's on their own vibe. I, don't even, I can't even see anyone training in groups. So literally, everyone's on their own earphones in. So walking around this gym, they definitely had a lot to offer. I mean, there was a swimming pool. There was a private studio where they do classes. They had this like CrossFit style section. Then they had this like indoor running track section. I mean, this gym literally has it all. A cycling studio. There was nothing this gym didn't have. And then when you thought it couldn't get any better, they had a combat area. I mean, they had a boxing ring, they had boxing bags, they had everything. I mean, just like the amount of squat racks and deadlift platform in this place was an absolute joke. Although I think £300 a month is pretty hefty, you're definitely getting a lot for your money. So, like I was saying before, there is an abundance of equipment here. I mean, I just noticed there's actually two dumbbell racks. So even if it is busy, peak times, it has quietened down a lot now. But if it is busy, you're not going to struggle to get anything. There's just so much here uh, for you to use. Uh, and even if something that you want is being used, it could be something else, either exactly the same or similar for you to use. So definitely a bonus to the extra money you'll be paying to come to a gym like this. So like I said, guys, this gym literally has everything. And although I was a little bit critical of some of the machines, I then noticed that they had this whole section of Cybex equipment. And if you're into your bodybuilding, you know that Cybex is one of the best companies for equipment. If by now you're wondering, where's all the cardio equipment? Literally the whole of the upper floor is cardio. It overlooks the center of the gym, which is called the yard, and it goes all the way around. As you can see here, there's cardio equipment on the other side. I mean, just look, it just goes on and on. They have everything, treadmills, stair masters, different types of treadmills, spin bikes, they have it all. One thing is for sure, you are definitely not short for cardio equipment or any equipment for that matter. I mean, there's a lot climbing wall in here, like what is going on? So now we are gonna go hit up this like steam room. You see that side of the gym. Yeah, this gym is definitely worth the money so far. Walking around this gym, it's definitely clear to see that there really isn't much of a vibe going on. Everyone is kind of just focused on what they're doing. There's no community. It's just literally everyone in there to just train and get on with their workout. This gym has so much to offer that it does make it worthy of a figure of 300 pounds a month. But don't be fooled. The gym is still extremely busy in peak time. So paying a lot of money isn't going to get you a quieter gym. But on top of that, like I have said, there is so much in here to do. You won't be short for choice. And overall, it is an amazing gym. Right guys, so we are just relaxing in the sauna at the end of our session. Um, I didn't want to bring my camera in here in case anyone else was in there and they felt violated. However, this is the most expensive gym in London. I mean, you can see why. It's got an abundance of equipment, obviously. The spa, steam over there, sauna here. Um, it's absolutely massive. So many different things like you've seen from the video. So it does justify being more expensive. Um, however, um, my personal opinion is like I prefer the bodybuilding vibe. Like everyone here is just on there doing their own thing. A bodybuilding gym, I feel like it's just a better atmosphere. But yeah, definitely a very, very classy gym. Overall, obviously, it's a top gym, so I'd have to score it probably a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Um, so yeah, top gym. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Comment down below what video you want to see next and whether you think this gym is worth the money. Um, smash the like button on the video, follow me on all my socials and I'll see you all in the next video.